What's up everyone and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Here we are, just about to start the second race of the season in Munich. Last time out, everyone's reliability let them down, except for us, really. So, we ended up finishing second, even though we were very unlucky with a safety car incident halfway through the race. We turned it around, managed to get second, and Bindela, our very poor driver, as you can see, even she got around about 12th place in the race, so it was pretty good. I've done a bit of research on drivers and I'm purely going off of what somebody has said here so it may be horribly wrong but if I can find him I favorited him Gaston Renou. He apparently is a paid driver so I'm going to offer him a cheap contract we'll do a year we'll do a bit of a signing on fee and that's about it really we'll see what he says because I've heard he's a, a paid driver, so he might pay me money. I'm not sure if that's 100% true, but if not, we're going to sign him anyway. He's not going to be rubbish, but he's not fantastic either, so we'll do that. If not, I think these two guys also may be paid, but they were a lot worse on their stats. That's why I've gone for Renew first. But we're going to go a few days and see what he says. I didn't actually know myself that there were such things as paid drivers, so... It might not be true, but it might be true. So we're going to up his wage to that much. We'll still have one more chance, realistically. So we'll offer him that much and see what he says to that. We've just finished a new bit of suspension, which is good to see. I probably could start building something else before the next race, so I think I will. I'm just going to work on the reliability of that suspension and those brakes. I'm not sure how much that'll improve over the next 10 days. Probably not too much, but still, in the meantime, we can develop something new we've got around 800,000 so we could do another set of brakes however our kind of risk level stuff doesn't really make me want to do that so instead I think I'm going to do another bit of suspension I could work on the reliability but I don't think I will I'll work on medium speed corners and medium speed corners once again to improve it it'll be completed after the race but it doesn't matter too much we've got a proposal back well an actual accepted contract from Gaston Renault. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to accept him, bring him into the team instead of... I'm actually going to keep Bindela. She's she's done me proud. So I'm just going to bring him in. It's quite a long contract, 21 months. Signing on fee is not too much. And we'll bring him in and promote him straight away to our second driver. Like that. I thought maybe he was a paid driver, but maybe he isn't. I did see something. I know, there we go. So, I'll get paid 216000 for each race. And that's not too bad, actually. So, that's pretty good. And if that is true about paid drivers, I could try and get someone else in and then have him as a reserve. I think these two guys are. So, I'm going to try and have a look how much they pay, roughly, if I can find that out somewhere. And then we'll probably offer them a drive. By the looks of it, this is another paid driver Claire Taylor. I'm actually going to offer her as a reserve driver we're literally going to go really low on everything here if she's going to give us money that's what we want we will give her a signing on fee which should make her happy and then we'll do a race bonus as well because she's not actually going to be driving I think she's a paid driver as well I hope she is otherwise we're signing her for no reason so we've actually got a vote coming up and Rebecca Hanlon, I believe she's actually come to us before. She wants us to vote in support of this next race. So I think we may as well do that. I don't see why not. So we're going to vote in support and get a little bit of money on the side. So here we are on the screen to go into this next race. I'm going to guess that people's reliability might let them down again. It might not, but if we do, we'll be up to 750,000 if we can get our sponsor achievement. I know it's unlikely, but we've got to take a risk. We're just going to do some of the parts. So let's just go on to that. We've got a few new parts and we'll chuck it on to Will Hume's car. Renault's not happy because his car's better, uh, worse than Will Hume, sorry. And the car's obviously not very good either, but it's fine. It'll get better over time, hopefully at least. And yeah, I think we should be good to go in the race. Will Hume's car is definitely looking a lot better. I know he says it's rubbish, because it is, but it's definitely getting a lot better. 
So practice for the German Grand Prix. It's actually looking pretty good now because as you can see Renault's got 19 feedback. We should be able to nail the setup for today. I'm just going to get into it again as per usual and we'll be back in just a moment. At the end of our practice session there, we came out in 9th and 13th. Our setup was pretty decent. We just struggled on the downfalls, as we'll see in just a second. And it's raining for the race today, which could be interesting. I think we might actually be starting in first, though, because Renault is obviously new to the team. So that could work out. We've got a decent amount of knowledge as well. That's if it actually stays dry. And this could actually be perfect for this race. Quick fixes. Especially for Will Hume, if we do need to make a little change. So in terms of this, we will have a lot more downforce and bring everything else more in line with Renault's setup. And I think that nearly is. The, the speed looks in place, but the suspension or handling does not. So we'll just bring that down there. That should be okay. And then for Renault, we're just going to drop down this a lot. Try and get everything else back to where it was before, which is around there. So that is looking good. I think we're starting in first and most likely 19th, but we're going to get our drives to push at the start of the race. We'll take a quick look at the weather and it does look like it's going to drop off eventually. So probably around the end of the first stint, it's going to be interesting. And apparently our tyres don't match the weather. Yeah, everyone else is out on wet, so I guess we will as well. Let's get into the race. So, as I said, we are starting in first, and if I scroll all the way down, I think 19th. Okay, so that's going to be tough to get through the grid with Will Hume, but at least with Renault, we should do a little bit better than last time out. Coming around to the end of the first lap, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Renault's dropped down a couple of places into fourth, and Will Hume is actually in 18th, and he's broken his rear wing again. I believe that's for the second race in a row now, which is quite incredible to believe, and it's just after the pit straight as well. So, yeah, it's not going very well for Will Hume. Two races, two broken rear wings, and we've got to do the whole lap. Finally, Will Hume has just about made it around to the pits. I think we should come out before we get lapped by anybody else. Our little trait there, which gave us faster pit stop times for part fixes, is definitely going to help. And we're back out, but down in 19th. A couple of people have actually already pitted, and they've gone on to intermediates. It's a very interesting point, or a choice at this point of the race, because as you can see, it's still tipping it down. Like The weather's going to change soon. But they're going to lose a lot of time in the coming laps. So we are just about to start lap 7 of the race. And the rain has gone away. The track is starting to dry out. One person has actually just crashed out of the race altogether. So we're going to have to make the call in the next couple of laps. Whether or not we're going to pit in or when we are going to pit in. Quite a few people have actually been quite bold and have pitted this lap. I'm not going to pit straight away. I'm going to see what everyone goes on to. And then we'll make the decision after that. I still think it's a little bit too wet to go on to intermediates at the moment. So we're probably playing it safe. However, some people are actually going on to dry tyres. I'm just going to pause it before we go around. I don't really know what the best tyres would be, to be honest. It's only 12 degrees, so I can't see it drying out completely. Will Hume is still going extremely fast. So I might actually leave him out one more lap and then chuck him on intermediates next time around. A lot of people have committed onto dry tyres, but I still think that is the wrong decision. So I'm bringing in Renault now. He is in first at the moment. Apparently he's going to come out in around about third. His gearbox is looking interesting as well, but it's definitely time for intermediates on this pit stop. We may as well fix his suspension on this pit stop. We're going to come out around fourth again. Hopefully this tactic paid off. The pit stop for Renault went very well. Now we're going to pit Will Hume. He's just coming round. He's made up quite a few places. He's up into 10th. I'm hoping because everyone's committed onto dry tyres so early that we should be able to make up that gap that we lost at the beginning with our second broken rear wing. 
Hume's on his way into the pits now. Let's just see if we can get a clean pit stop, which we can. Coming out on intermediates. Everyone else is still out on drives or inters, so let's see what the laps are looking like. Okay, so Renault's just come through to us on the radio. He's having troubles with his gearbox. I'm actually going to pit him this lap. It is starting to dry out on track as well, so that could probably work into our hands a little bit, at least with the timings. So I'll fuel him up, fix that gearbox, and we could probably carry on from there. In fact, I think I'm going to do his brakes as well. It's going to be a very long pit stop. It was a decent pit stop. We only dropped down a little bit from that. Will Hume is still out on track. He's actually up to ninth now, pushing very closely on seventh place, as you can see. And Renault's actually just in front as well. It's definitely going to be a changeover, I think, this lap. So we're going to bring in Will Hume. We're going to chuck him on some soft tyres. We've got 15 laps left, and no one will actually be able to make it to the end from this point on if they just do a pit stop now. So realistically, we're going to get about nine or eight laps on each set of tyres, which is definitely going to happen. So we'll do that. We may as well fix that suspension as well, just in case. And we'll see how we can do. So the last couple of guys are coming in the pits now to get onto their dry tyres. I think some of them have actually left it a little bit too late, so they're probably losing time now. Currently sitting in sixth with Renault and 11th in Hume, which isn't too bad given the circumstances. I'm hoping we can move up a couple more places before the end of the race. 18 laps through the race, we're starting to put in some fantastic times. We're also catching up 4th and 5th place. Most likely we've only got one pit stop left for each driver and nobody's really had any issues with the reliability either in this race. So I thought it might be a problem but by the looks of it so far no one's actually having any issues. Except for the guy who's just retired as soon as I say that. Renault has actually got a tiny issue with his car, it's a suspension, and as I can see on the radar, someone's gone in for intermediates, so it's about to rain, and it could be the time to change over onto those intermediates, which actually works out very well for once, will probably last the last 9 laps I believe, so we're going to go early, we could go one more lap, I think we might go one more lap, hopefully he'll survive, and then we'll pit next time round. For Will Hume though, it's starting to rain and I think we will bring him in now. We fuel him up to the end of the race. I think we should have enough if we put him in for nine. I might, yeah, we'll do nine laps and I could fix the gearbox maybe. It's only going to take 15 seconds and that is big. I think the rest of the other components should be okay for the next nine laps. So I'm going to do that. I'm only doing this gearbox because we've got that trait which halves the time of repairs. By the looks of it, I think this rain is most likely going to continue on for the majority of the race. It might stop a couple of laps before the end, but I think it'll probably be too late to pit by then. So we're looking pretty good though at the moment. We're currently sitting in fourth and sixth. However, it would be extremely, extremely rewarding if we could get into that top three so that we can achieve our sponsor objective. Just had note that Oscar Diaz has a mechanical issue, which means that we've actually gone up into fifth place. So we're currently sitting 4th and 5th. My only concern is, as you can see here, all of Renault's parts are looking extremely low on reliability. So it might be a bit of a struggle. We may have to pit towards the end of the race. Another driver's dropped out of the race. Molly Fox has just retired. She wasn't in front of us, so it doesn't really affect us. All that we're worried about is... The three guys in front of us, and I don't think any of them are actually going to drop out on this last lap. Will Hume actually just set the fastest lap of the race on that last lap, which is surprising. I don't think we get any points, but if we do, that'll be a nice little bonus. Looking at the map, I'm pretty sure we're going to finish fourth here. Unless third retires on this last corner, which I can't see. And by the looks of it, no. So we're going to finish third. Sorry, not third. We're going to finish fourth and fifth. Just missing out on that sponsorship achievement. So I'm hoping once again through scrutineering, someone might get penalised, meaning we get a bit of money. And no, I thought it was Will Hume for a second, but that's purely because he got his 
penalty and we did actually get two points for the fastest lap of the race which is good so we nearly got the amount to actually win the race altogether that's useful to know because we could go for fastest laps later in the season and somehow that has moved us up into first in the championship will hume 37 points we're eight points clear after one race and we're actually leading the constructors as well it's going fantastic so far who would have thought i thought last year was a fluke but this year maybe we are actually looking pretty decent we've got quite a few sponsor offers come through they're not going to be anywhere near as good i don't think i know in fact they will because renault's got 89 percent marketability that's actually very good just what we need because the money will help out a lot and here we go so hypertech 500,000 a race that is fantastic so we'll accept that as well and we'll wait for another big offer to come through for slot one and i think we can leave that there for the moment good news for us claire telly has actually accepted our offer we're going to be paying her 200,000 a race which isn't too much i'm hoping she'll give us more money than that because renault's given us about 200,000 as well so i'm actually going to sign her up we're going to chuck her instead of Bindala. It's been fun, Bindala. We thank you for your contribution. But we're going to have to replace you. Because I think Tally's going to give us a bit more money. So taking a look at the car. After we created that last bit of suspension. Somehow we're actually not the worst two like teams on suspension. We're up to 7th. Which I'm pleasantly surprised with. For the others though. As you would expect. 10th, 9th and 10th. So, not fantastic. We are going to work on it over time. You know, we're making this other engine, which I think we will complete in three days. So, it will be before the next race. I'm not sure on the reliability of that. But still, it's definitely an improvement. It's a sign of us taking the team a little bit further forward. So, I think that's actually a, probably a good point to look for today on a positive note. And another positive note, yes, we are leading both championships. So, if you did enjoy today's video, remember to drop a like on it. Leave me any comments telling me anything you want to see, you want me to do. Subscribe if you're new. As always, if you want to see more, press that subscribe button. It is free. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video.